So up next, before we jump into the main event, we have uh, another bout here between, you know, we always touch on people's nicknames and how fitting they normally are. Even this card, you know, we got zombie girl. She actually fights like a zombie. Mm-hmm. You know, on initial instinct, I look at, you know, Bryce Mitchell here and he, he looks like a pretty boy. And then I look at his nickname and he's thug nasty. Not what I would have expected whatsoever. Uh, so he's fighting Andre Feely. So I, I know you got a lot to talk about Feely here. So kind of jump right into it, man. Yeah. So I, the thing I want to talk about Feely is despite being 30 years old, it's like eight and six in the UFC. Like that's a big deal. You know, the guy's 21 and seven. He's been fighting for a long time. One of Uriah Faber's first little, you know, pupils. We saw him as well, you know, get kind of famous on that uh, tough with uh, Conor McGregor. I just... You know, second fight against Max Holloway, you know, lost by submission. He's seen a lot of good fighters. You know, our boy, he beat our boy Charles Jourdain, Mr. Monsieur Canadien, oh. Monsieur Canadien, Mr. Charles Jourdain. You know, we've seen him kind of, kind of a little short, right? We've seen him lose a split decision mm-hmm. to Andre Feely. We've seen him lose, well, actually, we've seen him draw in that last fight that saved us again. So little things like that, right? Poor, poor Charles Jourdain, but let's get back to it. Andre Feely won a split decision against him. He looked like a good striker. You know, the cardio was there. I just think, you know, when you look at, you know, Bryce Mitchell's improvement in his last fight, dude, this guy was not breathing hard at the end of the three rounds, and he was dominating. Wow. Yeah, Charles wow. Rosa was all over the mat, uh, could not really muster up much offense. Bryce Mitchell was one of my favorite fighters on Tough 27. I think he might have been my favorite fighter, if I could think back. He's just a really good kid, 4-0 in the UFC. Again, let's think back, right? If there was anyone I could see maybe wanting to win a championship based on what I see, at least from for, for face value, he's the kind of kid I want to see, you know, really succeed. And if he was a champion, he'd be a good champion for the UFC. He'd be the kind of guy you want representing the sport is, is what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say. So, I mean... Has no blemish on his record yet, so... Yeah, I, I just, I really, I really want to lean towards him being, being the favorite only because I think he'd take a beating in the first couple of rounds. And this guy over the last, you know, half of the second and third rounds can prove to be an absolute menace. So unless you get him out of there in the first, I just can see this, you know, Bryce Mitchell by points, Bryce Mitchell, you know, potential finish in the third round, that kind of thing. So I'm still going to think he's the favorite at even a minus 170 to a minus 230. Oh, ding, 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 ding. We got uh, Thug Nasty here at minus 165. So, wow. you know, r- r- right on cue there with what you're thinking. Yes, you know, I, I do believe he has a really good chance in that fight. You know, Andre Feely's a big win for him as well. So if, if that's your next, you know, 14-0 type of record, you know, we're going to see this guy potentially headline a card and, you know, all the power to him. I'm a big fan and I really hope that he succeeds. And I hope you enjoy what, what you see too. Come fight that. Yeah, I hope so fight. too. And I mean, it, it mm-hmm. sounds like we're going to see some value in this right now because <laughs> once he moves at 14 0 everybody will know his name. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So let's capitalize on those on those slight odds on Mr. Thug Nasty now. And, and I, I think, you know, I mentioned my biasness in, in the last fight, right? Saying that that was going to be my favorite fight with Kevin Holland. This has all the makings of the best fight on the card. You know, if Andre Feely can wrestle him, you know, both of them don't really have the best takedown defense, but Andre Feely's is actually better. So the way I mm-hmm. see it is, you know, this could this could go both ways. Maybe Andre Feely wants to tire him out a little bit. I think it's not the best idea because he's going to want to strike. But the, the way you want to kind of approach this is, is avoid kind of playing to Bryce Mitchell's strengths. And that very much is, you know, letting him be on top, letting him kind of tire you out with him on your back, things like that. But maybe if you can get on top and avoid some submissions, maybe you can tire him out a little bit. Maybe you can at least put him in some bad spots. You know, you're 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 a wrestler. You, you, you've been in that camp with your eye favor your whole life for the most part. So mm-hmm. I, I think it's a good it's a good it's a good matchup. And I'm just trying to see if you know the elite you know cardio master of grappler is going to really succeed against the technical striker that might not have what it takes towards the end of the fight. Yeah, you got me excited for that one. 